In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Zapier to make your Messenger business card bot even better. Plus, we're adding some frosting to your basic business card flow to make it awesome. What up, bot shots? My name is Kelly Noble Mirabella with Baby Got Bot. I help busy professionals like you learn how to harness the awesome power of many chat and chat marketing. Today we are diving into video number two in our three-part series all about conferences and event networking using messenger bots. If you missed it, be sure to check out the last video on how to build the basic business card, which we're going to build more upon today. We're going to be adding cool add-ins, zaps that will send your new friends notes and connection details via email. Now, don't forget that the Zapier integration is a pro feature. So if you're not yet a ManyChat Pro user, be sure to check out the description below with all my links to resources where you can grab a free 30-day trial of Pro on me. Go enjoy that. Now let's jump into ManyChat and let me show you how it's done. All right, so this is the business card that we built out in the last video. This is our basic business card, and we're gonna add two elements to this card to kind of give it a little bit more something something, a little frosting. The first thing I'm gonna add is the ability for people to take a selfie with me. I really like the concept of having people take a picture with me that I can go and reference later because it triggers for me as a very visual person that memory of what we were talking about, who that person was, and it really, really helps with follow-up. Plus, if it's a good picture, you can always send it to that person. I just think it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna add that piece in. So what we wanna do is we're gonna click on this first box where we give them that, set that expectation. We're gonna go down here to user input. We're gonna move that user input right above or right underneath that four seconds. And this is where we're gonna ask people to take a picture with us. So in the user input, I just said, let's take a picture. I do a little icon here with the picture. Our reply type is gonna be an image and our custom field, you'll wanna save that. I have one, it's called photo selfie. It is a text-based custom field because ManyChat's actually gonna save the image as a URL that you'll be able to access. Now I wanna go ahead and keep the skip in there in case I'm at a table or in a situation where there's a lot of people around and we're just quickly exchanging information. That way, you know, sometimes you don't have time to take a selfie, so I will allow people to skip at this point. So they're gonna take the picture and then we'll go right into our normal flow at this point. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a piece here after we ask for their email and their phone number and we're gonna see if they wanna take any notes and we can email them any of those notes as well as email them our contact information. So we're gonna add a user input block. We're gonna move it up right after we asked for their phone number and we'll just add it here. So there you go. Would you like me to email you any notes about our meeting? If so, go ahead and write them below and then I'll send them to you. If not, skip and then that'll take them to the next step. So the reply type is text and I'm gonna save this under notes. All right, and then we're gonna create a perform action. This action is a trigger a zap. If you've never used Zapier, you're gonna to have to go into Zapier and you're gonna to have to connect ManyChat with Zapier. If you already have it, you'll see it here. If you don't see it, that means you need to go into Zapier and connect the two. So we're gonna to go to trigger a zap. We're gonna create a zap event. I'm gonna call this one Social Media Marketing World Notes. And then we're going to publish. Now we're going to head over to Zapier. All right, so click on make a zap and we're going to select mini chat as our first step because that's where it originates. We're gonna select the trigger a new zap and continue. Now we need to select the mini chat account we want to be using this with. So that's the page that we're using. And then the event is that trigger zap that we just created. So in this case, I'm using social media marketing world notes or SMMW notes, continue. We're gonna go ahead and test and continue. And now we're going to connect whoever, however we're gonna mail these people or email these people. Now you can certainly add people to your CRM at this point, but I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm just gonna send them an email via my Gmail account, which I actually use for my business account as well. You'll see that in a minute. So we're gonna go with Gmail. And we are going to send an email. Now we have to select the Gmail account. 
And who is this going to? So this is the email address that it's going to. We're going to click on this plus over here, and we're going to find the email that we, the custom field we save their email to in that flow. In this case, I just did it as a regular email. So user, user custom field email address. If you want to add a CC or a BCC, go ahead and do that here. And then from, now my Gmail account is the Colorado Girl, and I don't want it coming from the Colorado Girl, I want it coming from my business account, so I select that here because that's what I have already integrated into my Gmail. Gmail is just where I host all my emails. Who is it from? I'm gonna type my name. And if you wanna send, if you want them to reply to a different email address, you can put that here. So now we're going to put our subject. And if you want to use plain text or HTML, then you could do that for your email. Now, keeping in mind, plain text, very simple, cannot be formatted. HTML, a lot more complicated, obviously, can be formatted. And you can certainly create these elsewhere and then just copy and paste the code. I'm going to keep it really simple and just go plain here. So let's write our email. And if you wanna add any kind of custom tags or information, you just click on this plus sign. So for instance, I wanna add their first name. And then we're gonna add our notes. And by doing that, we're just gonna to go to the plus sign and we're just gonna search for our notes. And I believe mine are just saved under notes, which is the custom field you used. There you go. And then I'm also gonna give them some contact information and anything else you wanna add. All right, so once you're all set and you're happy with this, you can go down. If you wanna add a label for your Gmail or attachments, you could do that. We're gonna click continue. Test should go through just fine. And, oh, looks like there is a problem. All right, so to send a message, we need at least one, two. Oh, I forgot to do two. That's important, right? So we are going to go back up here, customize our email. To, oh, because there's no data. So this is actually a really good thing that this showed up. If in your test, the person that is pulled into your test sample did not give you an email address that's saved under that custom field, it will show as it didn't work. So if that's the case, if you see that there's no data, that doesn't mean that this isn't gonna work. It just means that the test subject that they pulled in doesn't have an email address. So I wouldn't even worry about that. In this case, I know it's gonna work. So we're gonna go continue and I can do test. I know it's going to say that it doesn't work. Um, that's fine. We're going to skip the test. And we're going to turn it on. Now, if you want to be absolutely sure, you could certainly go back up here. And under find data, you can actually pull a get another sample. And you could do a different sample with someone who actually has an email address just to make sure it's completely up to you. But I know that it's going to work. So I am all set and ready to go. Oh, how I love these type of bot flows. There are just so many ways that you can make this your own. You can add sound clips, ask people to take selfies with you, and send follow-up invites to join your Facebook group, your email list, or even if you have it, an SMS list. Go wild, my friends. Enjoy. There's just so much to do. In fact, I would love to hear from you. What is one thing that you're going to build into your Messenger bot flow? Let me know down below. Now, be sure you're subscribed and circle on back here for the next video, which is the last video in this three-part series, where I'm going to share with you my very own conference networking tips and strategies that have helped me bring in the big money <laughs> from connections that I have made over the years at various conferences. These tips are especially helpful for those really big conferences like Social Media Marketing World. In the meantime, be sure to go join my totally free Facebook group, Baby Got Bought, where I share news, strategies, and answer your questions. The links can be found down below. And check out my 57-page Future of Marketing is Chat Guidebook, complete with case studies, data, and steps on how to create a lead magnet delivery bot all of your own. It's only $7. Check the links in the resources down below. That's all. Nothing left to see here. Until next time. Bye.